Coming this January 2016, the only Rotary Conference in the Americas and the only one on peace, conflict, prevention, and resolution. A fun fact, Rotary has relations with the United Nations dating back to 1945. 49 Rotarian members and delegates were advisors and consultants at the United Nations Charter Conference. Today, Rotary holds the highest consultative status possible with the United Nations for a non-government organization. We're bringing together leaders and experts in a variety of areas. They will join together to develop action plans and take steps to take back to their communities and create positive change. Over the two days, we will hold 13 tracks of training that will deal with solutions that work to address some of these big issues. Does conflict happen at home, work, office, maybe a board meeting? Here a man and a woman are having a disagreement, a physical altercation. Bullying happens in the workplace, unfortunately. It starts at an early age. Notice the boy in the window looking for the principal or the teacher. Bullying is alive and well in our communities. How does it feel to be the target of a bully? 160,000 kids will not attend school tomorrow for fear of being bullied. Is it acceptable that the number of women who are victims of physical violence outnumber the number of Rotarians in the world? Up to 30% of our children will never graduate high school. How can this happen in the United States? What will this do to our economy? What happens when our children drop out of school or are passed along while still unable to read or write? They end up jobless, in trouble, and ultimately in the system. Over one million children are exploited by the sex trade every year. There are nearly as many gangs in the United States as Rotary Clubs in the world, and the membership outnumbers our world numbers of Rotarians. Nostalgia, shell shock, today we call it PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder. A quarter of a million veterans from Iraq, Afghanistan are suffering from PTSD. And now researchers are discovering families and children from these veterans are suffering from their own PTSD. Suicide is the number one cause of death among our soldiers. Is this acceptable? Gun violence is prevalent in our cities. Our children are growing up with this violence. They're suffering from PTSD. It's costing our country over $600 billion annually because of drug and alcohol abuse. Homeless children are everywhere. They include foster children who turn 18 and are sent away from their homes. They're runaways. They're members of homeless families. On every street corner, under every overpass, behind the shopping malls and in our parks. If you jog in the morning around most cities, you'll see homeless huddled in the doorways. The young, the old, the unemployed. I believe that Rotary is uniquely qualified to make a positive impact and handle these problems. How can you help? Rotarians are part of each and every one of these organizations and if Rotarians bring together all the leaders across these areas to exchange ideas, share solutions, find unmet needs and lead positive change, we can take on the big problems that plague our societies. You have the power to help today. Be a sponsor of the conference, a speaker, on a training track, Visit our website at Peace Conference 2016, make a tax-deductible donation, or help us find experts who have proven solutions in these major problems. Help us promote the Peace Conference, attend the Peace Conference, or visit us on Facebook. Please join us on January 15th and 16th at the Ontario Convention Center in Southern California. We've made it easy for you to give by text. If you have a smartphone, grab it now. Text RWPC16 to 866 866- 499-8886 and make a pledge. A $25 pledge can save one person from child abuse, domestic abuse, suicide, or drug and alcohol abuse. Your donations will help us fund change in our communities. Thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you at the Peace Conference this January.